Mike Cooper, Coopland Farms, my center of Kentucky. Been farming all my life, 40 years. Uh, we raise corn, to, uh, soybeans, wheat. Uh, we spray approximately 8,000 acres all together every year. The, the sprayer ranks up there with the combine and the planter. You need, in no-till, you need three pieces of equipment, a good planter, a combine, and a sprayer. And it's one of the highest, high, ranks high amongst that. We started with the pull-type sprayer, 40-foot booms. Uh, the disadvantage is uh, the machine wouldn't hold up as many acres as we were running over. It wasn't heavy enough. 40-foot booms, it took forever to spray. You had to tie up a tractor to spray it. So you just had a lot of disadvantages to see it. Foam marker, no auto steer, no GPS, no nothing. We had a 220 spray coop, 60-foot booms. We run four, year, four years, uh, but it was small, no pyre. Uh, we upgraded to a 4440 spray coop, which was a giant upgrade, but uh, still I didn't have the capacity to do what I'm doing now. I've got a neighbor cousin that's a neighbor, and he bought an Apache. I had drove it a couple of times. Uh, I talked to Brandon, and then we come up. Uh, we needed to trade to upgrade to a bigger sprayer. We picked up some ground, and we talked to Brandon, and we ended up with the Apache. Checked the prices on everything, what we could afford, most economical, and we come up with Apache. This is the first year on Apache. This is the first one we've owned. I, I'm in love with it. I, I, it does real well. No problems just a little getting used to. About three days, you know, of all day running and just getting used to the machine and have the bigger booms. We run 60 foot booms on the old machine. This has got 80 foot booms on it, just a, the adjustment to a bigger machine. Uh, the joystick, I like the joystick. There's nothing, the joystick is great. Once you get used to it, uh, it's like anything, when you buy something new, you've not run, it's a, it's a challenge to get used to. But once you get used to it, you'll love it. Yeah, we get it. We get over 75 acres to load up on the on the spray coop. We got over 20 acres, 20 acres to 40 acres, depending on what we're spraying. We're getting over 75 to 100 acres with this, depending on what I'm spraying, the volume, and just a better ride, a better drive. Hold everything's better. It'll handle this machine. Will handle the mud. Um, that's not a problem. I've run it through the mud. I don't like to run them through the mud, but it will take muddy conditions, wet conditions. Uh, lots of times for spring wheat is wet, and it handled great in spring wheat. Liquid nitrogen, especially heavy, uh, it handled real well in liquid nitrogen in wet ground. What we've run over this year with it, uh, we've not had any problems at all. It, it'll go anything I want to do. You know, that's that's where you should be running on it. Uh, it if the conditions are that bad, you ought to stay at home. But uh, conditions, as long as conditions are right, it, is, it runs really well. What I've seen of the four-wheel drive, uh, the John Deere especially, there's several around. I've seen several of them stuck the day I was stuck. I was stuck, but uh, they had four-wheel drive and they were stuck. And I don't see any advantage to the four-wheel drive. It, it just, I can do anything they can do. Crop damage so far is very minimal with the Apache. Uh, corn, uh, when I sprayed corn, was very good. I, I, I was tickled in corn. Uh, beans, which 15 inch rows, you're gonna have some damage. There's nothing much you can do about that. But uh, in corn, I really, really liked it. When the corn, when we plant with a 40 foot, 16 row drill with 80 foot booms, we split the middle exactly on four rows, line up with the uh, planter tracks, and it just works extremely well. With the spray coop, 60 foot booms we we're trying to straddle and it wouldn't the rows were off and we run over generally run over a row with this i don't have that problem running over rows most of our farms are 50 to 100 acres so if we get 75 acres to load up i can spray one field move to another farm before i have to load and they'll have a nurse truck sitting there and we just my dad keeps the trucks moved around We've got two trucks and they just move them around from point to point where i can stop and load wherever i land at we run down the road 30 miles an hour, handles great. Uh, you can move right between fields, no problem. It's really, really efficient down the road. It's got a comfortable ride. It's got a bigger cab, more spacious cab. In the spray coupe, you're pretty cramped. Uh, there's no leg room, no no room to move, period. But the, the Apache's got the big cab. We've got a great ride and very, very nice ride. Very, very, very comfortable. 
just the room in the cab, being able to move, to move your legs. Them spray coops like was like driving a cracker box. You couldn't, you had no leg room. You couldn't move. You, elbow, you was elbow to elbow with window. There was no, no way to move. And with this, and I've had back surgery uh, eight years ago, and this cab is, and my back don't hurt when I get out of it. My legs don't hurt, but I'm able to move around, to 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 move mainly just where I can. Visibility is great. There's no dead spots in visibility. You can see anything you want to see. See over the tank behind the machine. See out either side, the windshield. Just a great cab. The auto steer is mostly uh, driver fatigue. I can spray a lot of acres, a lot more acres with less fatigue on me. As far as driving the GPS, uh, keeping up with where I'm going, I spray after, at night. If I see fit to spray at night. Uh, we don't have to run the phone markers. Everything's mapped off. GPS keeps up with it. Uh, it records it on the on there, and we record it off onto a USB drive. Put it onto the computer. We've got our maps of our fields. It's just uh, it's all good. Overspray is kept to a minimum with the auto steer and the GPS. Uh, there are definite savings on chemicals. That's trying to drive it manually with a phone marker. When you get out there 80 foot, that's hard to judge the 80 foot exactly where that 80 foot is by by sight. As far as return on investment, it's wonderful. Uh, by the time you pay these custom operators, I think they're getting five to seven dollars an acre now. It doesn't take long to pay for one in a hurry. When you, especially when you're spraying three, four, five, six thousand acres a year, like we are, it doesn't take long to pay for one. Apache's a lot better value. The, the deers are just, uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, way too expensive. For what I'm getting and what I'm doing, uh, the Apache is, fits the bill. The quality is good quality spray on it. Good coverage, uh, easy, to, easy to operate. Uh, I, I love it. it. Just after I got out of the coop, the smaller sprayer, it's just a major step in, in spraying. The overall engineering, it is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is wonderful. Uh, it handles great, turns great. I can spray. 10 miles an hour, I can set the cruise on 10 miles an hour, spray 160 feet across the ends and never slow down when I turn. Load. I can turn it 10 miles an hour, bring it back in on my, my AB line and hit the auto steer and take, keep just keep going at a steady smooth pace, never slow down. The efficiency is very efficient. I spend half as much time now spraying as I was compared to the old sprayer where I was spending five or six days and I can spend two days here and cover the same acres. Uh, the fuel economy is great. We're getting, I'm not sure how much fuel it'll, it'll hold, but we get about six to 700 acres of a tank of fuel. Uh, two days run, two days running. Easy on a tank of fuel. Very efficient on fuel. There is a definite savings on it. Saving in time, time that I can spend with my cows, milking the cows, uh, with helping with that, that's a, that's a time consuming project. And the less time I spend out here spraying, the more time I can spend with those helping out with this. So it is definite time, or helping out with hay or wherever else I'm needed at the time. Cuts down on that labor. You know, one advantage is to having it when I need it, when I want it done, when I don't have to wait. I don't I can spray anytime I want to spray, I can get out and spray some. I don't have to wait on them. I don't have to depend on somebody else doing it. Uh, depend on their competency sometimes and getting it done right. So uh, it's just an all better, all all advantage to owning your own square. I had wanted Apache after I drove the 500. I had, I had thought a lot about them. Uh, the price, the cab. I really liked the cab. I drove some of the other ones, the deers and the cases, and and I was some of them. I weren't impressed with the cabs as much, uh, but mostly was the price. And I, and I like the way the machine run. The 500 run, like I said, I never drove this machine until I owned it, but the 500 I like. You spend this much on a machine that sits around six months out of the year and looks that, that's not got any use. <laughs> you don't want to spend 250000 on that machine when you can get this machine is as good as those machines for half the price. I mean, this, a, lot of the, a lot of the competition you can buy a used machine they're used machines with 800 hours on it or more than this machine brand new with a warranty on it. That warranty is very important. I put a lot in warranty because it's 
the, the breakdowns, the, uh, the parts, you buy a used machine and you bought somebody else's headache with no warranty, then you get to pay for it. I like a new machine with a new warranty, then that's somebody else's problem. I call them, they fix it, we move on. Local dealership has, has been back for a couple of updates, uh, a couple of minor things that, that I didn't know, but they come and fixed uh, off that were happening to other machines. Uh, so far, everything's been wonderful. Uh, so far, what little I've worked on it has been, seems to be easy to work on. From what I've been on the machine, it seems like it'd be simple, nothing major. Uh, I don't do a lot of major work. Minor work I will do. Major work I'll let the uh, Ohio Valley do. The, the, I, couldn't, I couldn't have got any better with the, with the, with the Apache. I, I've told several neighbors already uh, that have, have approached us about the Apache that uh, are running deers and other sprayers. And I've told them that uh, you know I love I like the machine. It handles well, very efficient uh, with the fuel, and everybody everybody seems to be impressed. Price wise, I've had several people uh, tell me they're going to check into them. So they it, it, I, I tell everybody it's a wonderful machine. We I really like mine.